Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to Dr. Sagib Khan Science Academy. Today, we will learn about first order kinetic model. What is first order kinetic model and how to plot the data into first order kinetic model? Basically, the first order kinetic model is the one in which the rate of reaction is proportional to the concentration of the reactants. Okay, the rate of the reaction is proportional to the if there is there are more reactants if there are high concentration of the reactants that end then there will be the reaction rate will be higher if there are more concentrate if there is the concentration of the reactant is more the reaction rate will be higher and if the concentration of reactant is less then the rate of the reaction will also be decreased so the rate of reaction is dependent on the concentration of the reactants okay now this is the mathematical expression of the first order kinetic model ln ct is equal to minus kt plus ln c naught so from here from this equation we will calculate the k value and ln c naught value or the c uh, initial concentration we can calculate the initial concentration from this we will plot the our plot will be ln ct versus time ln ct versus time as we have the CT value we can calculate easily the ln CT value. So ln CT will be equal to natural log of the CT value. Okay. Copy this data. Copy this formula till the end, and you, you will get the ln CT value. Copy this data and paste it over here and then we'll kill we will plot this data into the origin as i prefer to use origin for calculating the for plotting the data okay we will make a scatter plot scatter plot of this we'll go to the analysis fitting linear fit and then we will open the dialog box. In the dialog box of the linear fit, just click on OK. And the next dialog box, click OK. We have, we got the intercept value and we got the slope values. So copy these values and paste it over here. So we have the intercept value and we have the slope value. As we know that, our slope is equal to minus k. From here, you can see that slope is equal to minus k. So, the k value will be equal to the k value is equal to minus multiplied by this value. Our intercept is equal to ln c naught. As from this formula, you can see that y is if we this is actually y is equal to mx plus c. Our m is our slope and c is the intercept. So our intercept is ln c naught. Okay, our intercept is equal to ln c naught, and the value of c naught will be equal to anti ln of the intercept. So, for anti ln of the intercept, this is the C0 value. So, is equal to x of the intercept. So, this will give us the initial concentration. So, our initial concentration is 30 ppm in this reaction. So, it is almost same 29.5 or 30 ppm. So, our initial concentration. So, this confirms that our data is following the first order reaction so it is uh, both are almost same now in uh, first order reaction we also calculate the t half value the the half life is the amount of the time it takes for half of the initial reactant concentration to be consumed or converted into products so it is important in chemistry or in in pharmaceutical industry or in medical industry. So, the formula for T half is equal to 
जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई के सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट द हाफ लाइफ इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई द के वैल्यू सो दिस इज एटी सिक्स मिनट इज द हाफ लाइफ ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन ओके होपफुली नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू प्लॉट द डेटा इन फर्स्ट ऑर्डर काइनेटिक मॉडल हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द ऑर्डर ऑफ द रिएक्शन और रिएक्शन रेट के इन हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द हाफ लाइफ ऑफ द रिएक्शन सो और आर स्क्वेयर वैल्यू आर स्क्वेयर वैल्यू बेस्ड ऑन दी बेस इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन एट डबल जीरो दिस इज और आर स्क्वेयर वैल्यू we calculated the r square for first order reaction for pseudo first order reaction and for pseudo first order reaction so over here you can see that our first order reaction the r square value is the r square value is higher as compared to pfo and pso model so we can say that our till now our model is following our data is following the first order reaction okay our model is following the first order reaction with half time of 84 86 minutes 86 minutes okay so r square value is higher for first order reaction so we can say that our data is following the first order uh, reaction kinetics yeah or first order uh, reaction rate hopefully now you understand how to plot this data thank you very much don't forget to subscribe and share with your uh, fellow students and colleagues allah hafiz